Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Reality Consult, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm doing a video on how to draw different kind of shapes, as well as how to measure distances on Google Maps. If you are wondering how to draw shapes on Google Maps, or how to carry out measurement of distances on Google Maps, then this video is specifically meant for you. If you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly do so to push me to grow my channel. So let's get started with the whole uh, process. So first of all, you need to go to your Google Chrome and then you need to type Google Maps. Click enter. Click on Google Maps real time location sharing. Click on it. This is the interface of Google Maps. For you to be able to have access to this interface, you need to sign in or log in. I've already logged in as non reality consult. You can sign out here. So after logging in, you need to go to your, the left hand side of your your computer and you see these three lines and that is the menu click on the menu go to your places come to maps and then click on create map and this is the interface of it after you create a new blank map go straight and give a title to your map so my title how to create create interesting interesting shapes shapes And Google Google Maps. So with this, you need to uh, type in the description here, and then you click on Save. And here, let's rename this layer Shapes. We can just say maybe Polygons. polygons and then let's go to our area of interest I'm interested in an area in Ghana called airport residential area so type airport residential airport residential area in Accra and this is the airport residential area in Accra. So let's switch to the satellite imagery to have a better overview of this area. Gives more details to the map. So switch it to the satellite imagery. And this is it. Satellite imagery. So with this, let's draw some polygons and I'm going to highlight some areas that are maybe some kind of vegetation and some areas too with boulders. So let's click on this draw a line. So let me do here. You, you should double click at the end of uh, completing the digitizing the cycle or tracing the polygon. So here you can just say that uh, vegetation, 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 you can change the color. 
would be this color and do you want your polygon to be transparent or you want it to be what hollow like not transparent or you want it to be transparent or you don't want it to be transparent so i want it to be trans uh, i don't want it to be transparent so pull it back and then that is all you can also edit it if the spelling is a wrong or mistake you can edit it you can also attach a picture or a video with respect to this polygon but i'm not going to uh, attach anything and you can also delete it if you are not interested in it you can delete it so let's leave it at that so and then let's put another shape i want this uh, golden So this one is building. Building. Let's change the color. I want it to be this color. And I uh, transparency, I don't want it to be transparent. And then click can also edit it you can also upload a picture you can also delete it so that is it so with this polygons I have created two shapes one with respect to uh, vegetation and down another one with respect to building so let's add another layer rename this layer call it line lines and this I'm going to draw lines over on this map so click on this click on it and just click that is a line double click at the end of it What is the name of the ladder? That Patrice Lumumba. Patrice. Patrice. L. Patrice. L. Then this one you can change the color. Then the width can increase the width. You can also upload an image or delete it. You can edit it. And then let's add another that's Amalka. Let's add another one. Daughter, um, Malika. Click save. And then the line star. I want to also to be this increases. So basically, that's another layer containing the roads. So I'll add another layer. I'll rename it to points. Points. So with this, I want to add some specific points on this map. So just click on add, come here, uh, P, 
change edit then I'll add another one P2 to add descriptions here That is it. So basically, I have done with my map. But now I want to carry out some measurements on what the features that I have created. So with this, just come to the ruler, click on it. Then you can zoom in. Zoom out. Double click. So it's 138 meters. That is 0 0.115 hectares. So that is the size of this. And then let me calculate the length of the road. The length of the road. Click on this. Click on it. So that's 210 meters. 210 meters. So basically, that is how to carry out measurement on Google Maps. So with this, we can um, add up print our map, or we can export to KML file format for further visualization. So let's see how our map will be look, will look like. Want to be landscape, and then do you want image or PDF? I want PDF, and let's see how it will look like. Yes, how to create inter uh, interesting shapes in Google Maps. This is our map, and then polygons, vegetation, building lines, and those. So you see. Uh, this video really gives you an idea with respect to how to create shapes that's lines poly polygons as well as how to carry out measurements on google maps can't you subscribe to my youtube channel for more entertaining uh, videos thank you very much